So remember, he has to, he started changing the line over, and he did thus he did a lot of you know he went fell from 80 million to zero. Inventory was cut in half. Uh, the best he could do in two years, right? So the monument of monuments. So there was monuments there that they had to worry about, but. Lean thinkers call a monument any machine which is too big to be moved and whose scale requires operating in a batch mode. They would apply the same term to a hub airport, a centralized computer system, or a centralized engineering department. To anything that requires batches to operate, it can't be moved as the value stream changes. Because continuous improvement and changing processing requirements require the continuous movement of machines, monuments are evil, another form of Buddha. The monument in question in North Haven was a massive 80 million, 80 million complex of 12 blade grinding centers, custom made in Germany and installed in 1988. As Pratt attempted a high tech leap over its competitors, the idea had been very simple. Totally automate the grinding of the blade roots to the turbine blades using the world's fastest and most sophisticated equipment. Prior to the late 1980s, North Haven had placed each blade in a series of nine grinding machines for a total processing of Prone processing time of 84 minutes. The object was to grind smooth the base of each turbine blade so it would snap snugly onto the disc holding it into the engine. This approach was labor intensive due to direct labor needed to watch machines conduct frequent gauging and position parts of machines. In addition, indirect effort was needed to move parts from machines to storage areas and then the next machine now located some ways in the, in, in the degraded flow system. The new system used 12 massive grinding centers with 12 axes of motion. Each center could perform all the grinding steps formally accomplished by nine machines and could grind a blade in only three minutes. What was more, the centers were fed and unloaded robotically and the parts were carried to the storage by an automated guided vehicle. No direct or indirect hourly labor was required. All right? so, that, so obviously they thought, all right, this is a great way, we're just going to automate, right? So what does that do? If you remember the couple couple days ago, they had a 10% pass through. All right, so putting the machines in are great. So we they get, went for 84 minutes to three minutes, but then they just were only have a 10% pass through. So that doesn't sound like such a great deal. So they're using all that extra time to get that done. So we'll find out what they're doing to change that.